What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In the previous video, we've created our first Facebook ad campaign through your profile. And I'm actually wearing blue for Facebook today. But we've created our account and uh, you, you basically know now how to set everything up through your personal account. However, in this video, and perhaps this is something I should have done first, uh, I wanted to show you what Facebook for Business is and some reasons why you may actually want to create your ads through here, through this network. Uh, so don't worry if you've already created your accounts under your personal account. We'll be able to transfer them. I'll show you all the steps. Like I said, I created a new account just to show you guys everything from scratch. Uh, so we'll be able to transfer everything onto here, okay, onto this Facebook for Business. So let me tell you what Facebook for Business is and why you may want to use it. Uh, seems like an extra hassle, right? You can make everything from your own account. Why would you bother? So if you go to business.facebook.com, so facebook.com, but put a business before then, uh, you should see some reasons here. So I'll give you two reasons which, which are really useful for me, and then and I'll basically I'll summarize this. So what this is saying that later on, when you maybe start creating ads for other people and you start working with a lot of people, Facebook for Business will make it very, very easy for you because you can give access to your accounts and your ads and you can share it with other people and you can set the access level for those people. So if you were using your account and you wanted someone to access your ads, then you would have to give them your personal Facebook information, right? There's no way out of it. You, they would have access to your personal information. Facebook for Business is made especially for that, for this purpose of sharing. So you can actually, well, it's not made especially for a purpose for sharing, but that's that's one of the big reasons that it was made. And you can work together and you can set the level. So you can make them admin, you can make them, you know, uh, editor, you can make them just an analyzer, can't even edit. So you can set the level, whatever you want the people that you're sharing this with to be, okay? So that's kind of the reason for maybe later on down the road. The two big reasons that I found were really relevant to maybe more beginners um, one is when you use the audience insights tool in Facebook, which we will go over later on, when you use that tool um, and you want to find out more about a particular page and you right click and you go to that page to see what it is, you may often get distracted because you're tying in your personal account, right? If, if you're not using Facebook for business, you're tying in your personal account with the audience insights, the business that you're doing. And what's happening is you'll get distracted with all the personal message, maybe all the notifications, all the newsfeed. Yes, there's a really cool extension you could get. I forgot the name, uh, I'll, I'll put the link down below to, to block all kind of newsfeeds, uh, just so you don't get distracted, but you're still gonna get the messages, the notifications right here and there. So Facebook for Business co completely removes that. So it will, it will give you your own account, kind of your, your own ad account, and you won't see any personal information here from this end when you do research. Okay, so that's one of the reasons. The other reason is you can create several ad accounts here, which is something, again, you cannot do in your personal account. So if one of your accounts gets banned for whatever reason, right, we're not planning on this, we're not hoping, but for whatever reason, something happens, you know, maybe someone hacks into your account and your ad account gets banned, you lose everything. Guess what? That's not a problem. You can create a new one. Now, if that happens with your personal account, your personal account will also get banned because it's tied in, right? So your personal account is one account. With Facebook for Business, you can create several ad accounts, and if one of them gets banned or whatever happens, you can use another one. The only thing is, if you want to do that, don't put in your payment information on all of the accounts when you set them up. Create a few, but don't put the payment information because if your account gets banned, every account with the same payment information will get banned as well. So leave everything empty except using the one that you're currently using, and then after you set it up, and, and whatever happens, you can use another one and add payment information then, okay? So let's get in, let me just show you now, let me get you a little acquainted with it. So first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to log into our account. Actually, I may be able to create an account, yeah. So yeah, so first we need to log in. So I'll say, testing email at gmail.com. Okay, so now that I logged in, which is you know the same thing you can do on the side as well, now we can click create account. And let's create a name. So this will be our name. So maybe affiliate marketing essentials. So create your business name because when you're creating ads on Facebook, they will show up on the desktop, right? Like we did in the previous video, we had to kind of create this page. So might as well make that your business name. 
And let's uh, let's put in Gmail. So same thing here. Just sign up. Really simple process. Two steps, and you're in. Okay, that's it. So after you do that, our business account is fully set up and it's dissociated from your personal account. So that's fine. Um, so here you see all this. Um, let's see what the notification is. Yeah, you don't have any pages. So first thing we need to do is add a page. And second thing we'll need to do is add an account. So if you have no accounts yet and you're just starting off, that's fine. Uh, we'll still need to create a page. Okay. If you are or if you already have some ads and you want to transfer them in here let me show you how to do that so if you search pages here for example affiliate marketing essentials this may not work so what we will have to do is we'll need to go here on the top right keep in mind this changes all the time so just remember kind of the relevant words that you're looking for so business settings okay remember that and let's go to we'll need to go here on the left hand side and we'll need to add a page okay we need to add a page first so let's say we can create a new page i don't remember if we did last time yeah we did right we did the diabetes loophole thing okay so we need to claim a page and let's say uh, i think this was yeah diabetes loophole perfect okay so now we can claim page it's gonna do some check i don't know what the heck it does oh since you're already admin, your request was approved. Okay, so because I'm already an owner of the page, it was approved automatically, but we, we still need to put it in. Okay, so now after we do that, if you've created your ad accounts, what we need to do is we need to say add accounts here. We need to add a new account, claim an ad account, and we need to put in the account ID. And the way we go about doing that is, let's go back to your personal ad account here. All right, so we're going to go back there. We're going to go back to our... Let me see how you can. So basically, this is that this is that account. Okay, I'm just trying to show you so that all you have to do is copy paste it. So let's go back here. Let's go into manage ads. Okay, there you go. So from here on, you can just copy paste. So basically, go back into your own personal account if you have some ads and you want to transfer them over, and uh, click on manage my ads. Okay, on the right hand side. And all we have to do is we need to copy this, and that will transfer ownership here. So let's click that and let's say claim ad account because there hasn't been any activity. Okay, so if you have ads that are already working, this is how you would do it. In our case, our ads have not been active whatsoever. We didn't activate them, right? Our page is not meant for sales. So there was nothing there. So in that case, we just cancel. We'll just create a new account. All right, so that's like, that's basically it. After you do that, you're good to go. Here will be your pixels, which will go over in a separate video. Uh, here will be your application. So if you're selling apps, uh, product catalogs, shared audiences. So we'll get into all that as well. Uh, don't worry about it too much for now. This is really all we need. Okay. So after we do this, let's see if we need to create a new ad, let's go into power editor. And now that we have claimed and we've, we've made this account, this is as, as, as you can see, it's got a little suitcase and you can change your picture or whatnot. Right. Uh, I think business manager settings. If you go back here, you can change your picture here. I think it's here. Yeah, if you go there, so you can change all your details. And let me see if you go back to here. If you, if you click on that little button there, it should take you to the main page. And I hear, you know, change your picture, make it so that you know uh, what you, sh you should refer to this as. And then next time when you log in to your account, you should see... Um, you should see all your ads and your ads accounts here. Okay, so let's let's create a new a new uh, ad account. So let's go here and we need to go into ad accounts, add new account, and create a new ad account. Okay, so we'll just create a new one. So let's create a new name. Let's say um, diabetes loophole because that's what we've been working with our previous you know three months worth of videos. Let's say create account. So again, if you're not transferring, just create a new account. And there you go. Uh, so we can add this guy as a, as a, so here, so, so here's what I meant. We can add Yvonne Goldhart, right? As an admin, as an analyst, or as an advertiser, let's put him as an admin because that's me. So it won't matter much. Uh, we will need to add a payment method to use the ad account. So let me see, let me see if we can do it without doing that. 
Yeah, no, it's gonna it's probably gonna give us a little error message at the top saying we need to add payment details first. So if I create campaign, yeah, okay. So let me do that really quickly. Let me show you where to do it and then uh, I'll be right back. So normally if you go back into manager settings from this point on what you, where you should go is on the left hand side if you go to let me see I think it's add accounts if you go here and then go view payment methods and then if you click there uh, we'll click add payment method and I will be right back in one second welcome back so uh, as, as soon as I put that in, it gave me kind of my contact information there and I just say, you know, after that I just went back into business and I went into business manager settings or you should have an option on the left hand side. And after that, you're pretty much good to go. So we've just set up our ad account. So here's our ad account. If you want to create more, we can just go into ad accounts and we will say, let me see. We'll say add new ad account and you will create a new one, okay? So if anything happens, if your ads again get disapproved, your account gets suspended, you can just create a new account and add your new credit card details there, okay? But don't, if you create an ad account now, don't input the same details, okay? So uh, after we do that, we can go into our, where was this? Um, power editor here. All right, and now we can start creating ads. So again, if you've already uploaded your ads from the other um, from the other account, as we did in our last video, you should see it here. If not, we can create a campaign and we can start everything here. Okay. So what I'm going to do in the next video, I'll probably show you the difference between Power Editor and Ads Manager, and which one you should use, and kind of which one's better for what. Uh, and then we'll get into other stuff as well. So I'll probably just just create uh, a campaign here uh, from from scratch. I'll make something up so we can use as an example. All right. So that's about it. You are now set up with your business account, and I I hope this video was useful for you. Uh, I think this is probably a better tool to use than just using your personal account. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. And for those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.